Joining me to talk about this obsession with technology and its downside is Dr. Larry Rosen, author of Eye Disorder, Understanding Our Obsession with Technology and Overcoming Its Hold on Us. Dr. Rosen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on your show. Now, is it digital technology that's causing this problem or maybe some of us already have this problem and we're just attracted to digital technology? I think it's a little of both, but I think really it's the latter. I think that the technology itself is exacerbating problems that we have, but also creating problems for us. For example, when we get on Facebook and we start posting things on Facebook, like status updates, a lot of people will post things that all say, I, 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 me, 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 it's all about me, and that's really exhibiting traits of narcissism. So what you're starting to see is people are playing out things behind screens that they may have inside or may the technology may help them play that out. So if we didn't have Facebook, would we just not be able to channel our inner narcissist? Nar narcissist or what would happen? Nar well, what we would be doing is using email probably and doing exactly the same thing. I'm sure you've gotten emails from people and it's all about me. It's a big, you know, big post to all my friends just so you can see what I'm doing in France right now, as if anybody really cared. So what are some of the other psychiatric disorders that you connect to eye technology? Well, there's quite a few. Um, my favorites and the ones I think that are most interesting are obsessive compulsive disorder and social phobia. Those are two that I think are real critical. And obsessive compulsive disorder is easy. I mean, you can't walk out of your house without your phone, right? You can't do it. And I spend much of my day patting my pockets just to make sure that my phone is there, sort of like a, a safety blanket almost. And what we see with, particularly with young kids, with teenagers, and even young adults, is they are literally acting like they have OCD. They cannot go to dinner without having the phone out on the table. If they get a text, they almost, like Pavlov's dogs, they almost salivate and have to answer it immediately. So these kinds of technologies are encouraging us to exhibit these signs of obsessive compulsive disorder. Same thing with social phobia, though. We um, are social animals. And yet a lot of our socialization right now and a lot of our communication is taking place behind screens. And we're not thinking very carefully behind screens about the kinds of things we're saying and the kinds of words that we're uttering to people at the other end of the screen. And so people are feeling phobic about being social because they've been hurt online. They've gotten nasty comments to a post that they thought was innocuous. And so there's all these kind of weird things going on where the technology is impacting us in strange ways. It's almost like we're not taking part in our own lives. We're just posting about them rather than living them in some way. I think that's a very good point. And I think part of what I talk about in the book is it's not about giving up the technology. We're too far along the road for that one. And besides which, it's wonderful technology. I love it. I can do anything I want. The problem is learning to moderate your use of it. And I think that's the key right now. And in the book, what I talk about a lot is what goes on in your brain. What is your brain doing when you're using the technology, which is very attractive and lots of bright lights and colors and vibrations and beeps and everything that, is, that grabs you in, but also what's going on inside your head when you're not using the technology? You're thinking, ooh, I wonder if somebody liked my post that I did the other day. Oh, today's so-and-so's birthday. I better go on Facebook and wish them happy birthday. Oh, somebody said there was a new YouTube video of cats doing fun things. I should go look at that. And then three hours later, you're still online looking at YouTube videos of cats. So how did you conduct your research? I've been doing research for actually about 30 years on this topic. From the very beginnings of technology in our world, when we had just big computers behind glass walls. And I've seen the change happening over time. And I've seen how the technology is coming faster and faster and faster. And how we're not really reacting to it psychologically. We're just taking it in using it without thinking about what it might be doing to us and the people that we care about around us. What's your best advice? I'm one of those people, I have my phone right here next to me. I, I really can't be without it. It's next to my bed at night. What's your best advice? Best advice that I have overall is that we need to learn how to focus without using our technology. And so what I do in my life and what I, people I do, people I know do, as well as teachers in classrooms, families at dinner, is do what I call tech breaks which is suppose you're at dinner with your family and everybody brings their phone to the table because they have to check it. Otherwise, they might miss out on something important in a 45-minute dinner. Everybody, check your phone. One minute. Okay, everybody text, do this, do this. Turn your phone to silent. Turn it upside down on the table. 
Now what that is is a stimulus that says in, say, 15 minutes, I'm going to get to check my phone. It's there. It's telling my brain to not worry about it. And now you have a family conversation for 15 minutes. Everybody talks. Talk about technology. Talk about your day. It doesn't really matter. 15 minutes, somebody yells, tech break. And everybody checks their phone for a minute, puts it down again. That works beautifully. And what you can also do is you can start lengthening the 15 minutes if you want your kids to focus a little more. So you make it 20 minutes after a while, and pretty soon maybe they can go the whole dinner without using their phone. And our time is up. Dr. Rosen, thank you so much for being here. Where is your book? Where can people find it? Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any bookstore. And the title again, I Disorder, Understanding Our Obsession with Technology and Overcoming Its Hold on Us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much.